Hello and welcome to the Blogging 101 Masterclass. So in this video, I will be showing you everything you need to know about how to blog in Squarespace. So let's get started. So I'm currently on the back end of my website and in order for us to edit our blog page or create it, we need to click on pages. And so here is where you would actually create your blog page if you don't have one already. So you would just click the plus sign and then you would select a block page and then you would just go ahead and title that. Uh, but because I already have a blog set up, I'm going to go to that page. So this is the, my blog page. So let's start with the settings. So to go to the settings, we need to click on the gear icon right next to the page name. And so here, as you can see, some of the most important key elements is the page title the navigation title, and the URL slug. So always try to keep this as simple as you can. So blog is actually perfect for this, um, especially for the URL slug. It's really important to use keywords here. So blog is a perfect keyword and it's a really simple one. So it's actually really good for SEO as well. And so then you would actually click on SEO and then here's where you would add a title, which is optional, but because it takes uh, your page title already, I don't usually fill that in. As you can see, it's already taking the blog name. And so, but something that is really important is to add your SEO description. So this is about 400 characters and it's basically a description of what your blog offers. So it's really important to add a small paragraph right here and it's actually again really good for SEO and uh, one more thing that you actually need to do is to go to advance and then post display and so depending on how you want your blog page to look like you would select either full post or excerpt I like to select excerpt because then that way they can see a preview of all the blog posts on your page and then click on the blog that they want to read instead of having to go through the full blog post one by one. So then uh, you would hit save of course and then close. And then to start actually creating our blogs, we are going to click on blog. And so right here is where we would actually click the plus icon and start creating our first blog post. So this is the blog post editor and it's very simple. As you can see right here, it says enter a post title. So this is where your title goes. Um, and then this is where you st actually start writing all the content. And it's amazing how you can create whatever you want. You can include whatever you want to your blog post. So if you want to add an image, a video, audio, um, text, of course, you can go ahead and do that. Um, it's up to you. Um, here, the sky is the limit and basically it's up to your own uh, creativity. So you would just click on the insert point and then you would select a block. So for now, we're just going to stick to the text block and I'm actually going to grab some lorem ipsum text so that I can show you how that looks. So then you would start writing your blog post here. I'm just going to paste my text for now. And then I actually, I also want to add an image on top of my, my text. So again, click on the insert point right on top of it and then click image. And then you would add your image. So I'm going to use this one right now. And so something really important is to name your images the right way. So again, this is so good for SEO. So Google bots, they're not smart enough yet to actually read what is in the image. So you actually have to name your images really, really good. So for this one, um, this is going to be then a giveaway post. So I would actually type in giveaway um, Squarespace template giveaway slash wonders 
So here, be very specific. Uh, the more details, the better. And then you would hit apply. So again, it's the same if you want to add a video, you would click the insert point and then click video, audio, a button, a quote. Uh, if you want to add in a grid, a summary, um, it's up to you. So now that we have our blog post, um, that we have the content ready, then one thing that you really want to look into is the tags and categories. So categories works um, by themes. So be very selective on these. I would recommend five to seven categories the most. And so you would just click the plus icon. And if you don't have a category yet, you would just click create category. You would type in the name and you would just click enter. And so we just created a category and to add categories to our blog post, we just would actually just click on it. So let's say I want to leave the new category, but I also want to make this um, Squarespace. So you can actually select multiple categories here. And again, keep it very selective, uh, five to seven categories at maximum. And then tags are based on, on keywords. And actually here, the more the better. And so tags is actually really good for SEO. And it's really easy to add them. I would recommend for you to um, start writing your tags before you even create them here. So let me show you how. So you would just go to your a Google Drive document, a notes document, and then you will just start typing your tags. So remember that these are more like keywords, long tail and short tail keywords. So for example, I started with Squarespace website designer and then separate them by a comma and then comma Los Angeles, comma Squarespace template shop and so on and so forth. And then once you have all your tags ready, you would just select it, copy it and then click right here on the plus icon and then just paste it. And so click enter. And as you can see, we just added all our tags there, as easy as that. Um, so the next setting is the comments, and I do recommend for you to leave them on. That way site visitors can interact with your content. And then the last and final setting that we have right here is the draft setting. So you can actually click on it and you can select either publish. So publish this post right away and make it live as soon as you hit that button, or you can actually schedule the blog post to go live later on. Um, if you have a team member, you can always click needs review so that the other team member can know or just leave it as draft. And then right here at the top um, on our tab section, you would click on options next. And so here we want to always, always, always add a thumbnail image. And it can either be the same image that you use in your content or a specific image because this will be the intro image. So we want to create an image that is optimized that maybe has a title. You can add even your Pinterest images here. That would be really good. So you would upload an image. And so for now, I'm just going to use the same one. And so the next setting is post URL and Squarespace automatically generates a URL for your post based on the title. Um, however, if you don't like that URL or if it's too long or if it has weird numbers, which sometimes happens, just delete it and then actually type in a URL that is based on keywords. That is simple. So three to five words the most and SEO friendly. So for this one, I would actually type in Squarespace and then hyphen template giveaway. So something super simple, but using keywords. And then something very important is to add an excerpt, even though if you don't show your excerpt in your homepage or in your blog page, you need to add something here because it's, it's really good for SEO. And I would recommend for you to just add the first two to three sentences on your blog post. Um, and, and make sure also that they contain keywords as well. And so you would just paste it just like that. And then we would actually click on the SEO tab 
and we would actually also paste that excerpt right here under SEO description. So if your blog post is ready, you can hit save and publish, but because I still want to edit this blog post, I'm going to click on save. And then the last step that I always recommend is to actually edit it on this view right here. So I would actually, I want to maximize that to see how it's actually going to look for my site visitors. And so I think that this image is way too big and also the text goes way too far. So this is the last step that I always do. I edit my blog post on this view. And so you would just click on edit. And then I will actually structure the, the post the way I want it to be. So you know that I love spacers and it's my favorite block uh, because you can just change the structure of anything, the, the layout of anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add two spacers so that we can increase the size of the image and the text. And then I'm just going to place them on both sides. Just like that. And then I'm just going to fix it just a bit, just like that. So this is up to you. Um, if you actually want the image to go right next to the text, you can just click on it and drag it right next to the text, just like that, so that the text can actually wrap the image. And then this subtitle, I'm just going to center it and make it heading two. And I'm actually going to minimize the spacers by one on each side. So I really like how that looks. So this is up to you. Remember always to edit your blog post on this view before you actually publish it. And then once you're ready, you're just going to hit save and then go back to your blog menu. And you can see that it's labeled as draft, meaning that it's still not live, so that's good. So we're just going to click on edit one more time, and then we're actually going to hit save and publish to actually publish the blog post. And now it's live, just like that. Um, so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a message, an email, and I'll see you on the next one.